Today's video is not an electronic project, but it is about cooling system. I salvage these components from old air conditioners. I want to connect them together to make a window air conditioner. These two fans are the only brand new parts here. I bought them for 9 bucks each. I have this aluminum frame here and I'm trying to use it as a chassis. First, I mount in the evaporator here by using two screws. Then I drill two holes to install the fan. I'm doing the same thing at the other side for the condenser and its fan. Then connect them to the mains voltage to make sure they work in just fine. Now it's time to install the compressor. I drill three holes to mount in the compressor here. Then cut the excessive copper tubes. Now we have to pipe in and connect in the compressor to the evaporator and condenser, as shown here. To connect in two copper tubes together, we have to increase the diameter of one of them. So we have to use this tool, which is tube expander. Now we have to weld in or brace in the pipes together. It's usually done by using a torch and brazing rod, but I just prefer to do that by using my soldering iron. This is called service valve. We use it to recharge in the gas. We have to connect it here. Then we have to remove the old capillary tube and solder a new one. So now we almost done, but before recharging the ferion gas, we have to do vacuum for the entire system to remove air and moisture from the inside of the pipes. I'm using a fridge compressor to do that. The pressure inside the tubes must be minus 30 psi. Then close the valve and remove the vacuum pump. Wait for one hour. If the gauge returns to 0 psi, that means you have leakage somewhere in the copper tubes. But if it stay on minus 30 psi, that means everything is just fine. By the way, I replaced the filter just in case and repeat the vacuum. Now it's time to recharge the ferion gas. This compressor designed to work in with R410 ferion gas. I bought it for 10 bucks and I'm ready to use it. I put the refrigerant cylinder upside down on the scale. It's so important to be upside down because we need to liquid. The weight of gas that your air conditioner need is so important. I salvage the components from portable AC, which takes something around 370 grams of gas. The weight of this cylinder, as you can see here, is 1068 grams. So I have to charge my AC until the weight of this cylinder becomes something around 698 grams. So I start to do that and after a few minutes I close the valve. And finally it's time to test. For the first time I run it without fans just for test. As you can see here, the temperature of the evaporator is something around zero or even less, so that means it works well. The temperature of the other side, however, is something around 40 degrees. You have to use some thermal insulator to separate the hot side and cool side. The power consumption is 870 watts. I have to put something here because it's so dangerous if somebody touched the blades of the fan. Anyway, it's so cool. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.